Dellen, you have an awesome feed. Are you ready to check it out? Yes, let's do it. Let's start with the first one, which is when you and your wife, both looking great, announced that you guys were gonna have a boy. One, two, So we bought these confetti poppers and at this point I'm thinking it's, it's a girl. You know, I'm, I'm kind of set that we're having a girl and then when I see the blue confetti popped out, I was shocked and, and just excited obviously because I feel like every dad wants a little boy. I mean, we want a healthy baby, but so when I got that blue confetti, I was pumped. I was going, I was going pretty crazy. That's amazing. And just the look on your face and your wife's face was just priceless. Yeah, you know, that was yeah. a ton of emotion. You could tell that you're just so excited. Now, did the baby come out dancing? Because we've talked Ooh, about this before. Hey. We know you got some moves. Yes. Hey. This is with my wife's Ooh. nephew, Marcus. Every time we get together, we, uh, we, we enjoy dancing, we enjoy music. This was in Turks and Caicos. We did a family trip and we had uh, everybody watching us dance, this uh, dance hall. All right, so one of the best dancing videos on your Instagram feed has got to be this one. This so is- So smooth, uh, you can't even make it down the stairs. I know, man, <laughs> this is another one. We always in sync, you see? Hey. Me and Marcus again, we're here in Miami. This is for the All-Star Game a couple years ago. But there's also this one. This is where you ultimately get it from, right? Oh yeah, this is my pops. We're at a Aguilas versus Lise game, which is like Yankees, Boston, and Dominican Republic. And all my moves come from my pops. He loves to dance, and so do I. So, speaking of your pops, he actually agrees with you. Yes, he got it for me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> Did you tell J-Lo you got some moves? I'm sure she's seen him at some I, point. I didn't, but this was for CeCe's uh, celebrity softball game. And A-Rod was there and J-Lo. Mm -hmm. So getting to meet J-Lo for the first time was pretty surreal and definitely had to take a picture with her. Yeah. And also a New York native, which is... Of course, I mean, uh, you know, same background, a little bit uh, Puerto Rican, Dominican. Both grew up in New York, so we share a little bit of history, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so here we go. We got fantasy football inside the clubhouse. You keep on getting CC, huh? You're the king. Yeah, back to back, man. <laughs> I eliminated him two years ago and this past year. I just keep telling him you don't want to face me in the playoffs. So hopefully next year, he tries to play somebody else. If not, we'll get the same result. All right, this is on an awesome team that you're part of, Jordan. I don't think it gets any better than this between the cleats that you get and also this lineup. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, that was pretty sick. That was a Jordan Summit we had in Oregon probably three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. All the Jordan athletes, baseball athletes got together and, uh, you know, we got a tour. You know, it was pretty cool here with this video. We got a bunch of former MVPs, soon to be Hall of Famers. You guys are here at dinner. What kind of dinner is that like when you have so many people who are successful in what they've done, what they've been able to accomplish? and you guys hang out like this on a regular basis during the off-season? Yeah, a lot of laughter, obviously. Yeah, this was a pretty cool dinner, and you know, getting together with some of the guys that kind of run the, the baseball program and Jordan itself as a brand. You know, obviously a lot of good stories, so mm -hmm. for me, I'm all ears, so it was a pretty great dinner. All right, so everybody always talks about your size and how you're very tall and could play other sports. Here you are, David Robinson. You kind of go eye to eye with him. Yeah, he gets me a little bit, the Amaro. I mean, there's some big basketball fans. I was uh, pretty excited to meet David Robinson. You know, he's a champion, so it was so nice. It's funny because you got this one and you also got one that was completely opposite with Jose Altuve, which was going around everywhere uh, on oh, social yeah, media. Of course, of course. I mean, Altuve, yeah, that's always a uh, picture. We always take a picture when we see each other. <laughs> All right, last couple of years, this was Shaq. And again, um, Obviously not the same height, but this you is, could be a power forward. Yeah, this is probably one of the first times that I felt like other people feel when they meet me. Meeting Shaq was pretty surreal. I mean, he's a giant. He's uh, huge. I'm a big Shaq fan. Growing up was fun for me watching him with the Magic and also with the Lakers. So I definitely enjoy watching the Shaq play. So big basketball fan growing up. Obviously, he plays some fantasy football. And here's another big guy who you met. Famous Jameis, uh, it looks like I'm pretty big in this picture, but I got a 
ice pack on my shoulder after <laughs> throwing a bullpen, but good guy, you know, every time I see him, we, we definitely chat up, and he's a baseball fan, he played in college, I enjoy watching him play. Oh, there you are, with the Cowboys throw, jersey. Throwing the X, I like Des Bryant, I was a big Des Bryant fan, and I do like the Cowboys, I, mm -hmm. I really don't want to say that too loud. <laughs> Get a lot of New York people who are not liking me, so I, I don't Well, like you go that. to Giants games, so you're good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, and a throwback. Here you are, young. Wow, how old are you? Like I'm 15, 15 years old in okay. this picture, and this is a summer team I play with, Youth Service, which also Adovino played in mm -hmm. that same program. So that's Coach Rocky Medina. He's coached both Otto and myself. I believe this is actually the last one. Here you are, giving out food around Thanksgiving. How awesome is it for you to be a New York local and actually to be able to give back to everybody and use your platform? Yeah, for me, this is what it's all about as an athlete. It's always giving back to the community. And that was this past Thanksgiving, the turkey drive in Harlem, where we were able to, you know, just hand families dinners for Thanksgiving. So for me, that's what it's all about, giving back, and I enjoy that. So whether it is giving back or, like, smack talking with your teammates about fantasy football or, or anything else, making announcements. What's your favorite part about Instagram? For me, it's just sharing my story. I share my story and following other people that, as well. You know, Will Smith is somebody that I enjoy following, but for me, it's just sharing my story with the fans that enjoy watching me and enjoy watching our team and, and our, our story. So that's my favorite thing. So now it's time for the plug. What do you have to offer and why should people follow you? I try to do the best I can of, of giving you an insight of what we do on a day to day. He does a great job at it, so make sure you check him out. <laughs>